Okay, gentlemen. I'm working with my private client right now over email, uh, the texting one. <clears throat> and what I'm trying to teach him and you guys is uh, to think like a master chess player. You want to see the entire board. He has a situation where uh, there's a girl that... Um, he went after, and we got her to communicate. And I learned something about Tinder when they put a they put a like next to a message. I mean, she likes the the content. I didn't know that, but he wanted to ask her out on a date, and I said, "No, it's not not time yet." I learned about the likes for that conversation, and he said she she's liking my conversation. Uh, she sent some words back, and then the last word was one word answer. Good. We're asking about her work. That's how we open the conversation. You find something to comment on and ask her a question about it and then engage her in conversation. For me, I like to engage them over a period of time. That way I, go, I can get sexual with them. That's why I play the animal color water game. Okay? Um, I did that through instant messaging and through emails. Any chance I got, I did it in the nightclubs. I would ask for a pen from the bartenders all the time because they would write down sometimes you know the orders but either way I use that conversation to segue to talks of sex if you don't know what my animal color water game is search for it through my videos great way to segue to, to talk more on a more intimate level and my student keeps trying to rush things they First, it started off wrong. He had told me that she was a dog walker. So I, we asked the question about a you know, dog walker. And I made a really funny, actually I made a really funny um, uh, intro. Was that you the other day I saw being drugged by a pack of dogs on a leash? And that's a dog walker. She's a funny, you know, drug face down. That's humorous. If you're a dog walker, she would appreciate it, but she wasn't a dog walker. She's a dog trainer. And they looked down on dog walkers. You know, you de demeaned her. She came back with it. So as a man, I said, okay, we made a mistake. Let's apologize and then engage. And it worked. She, she engaged in conversation. They exchanged a few words between each other. And her last one was good. And she was liking, I guess she's been liking, uh, now liking the uh, conversation. Cool. And I explained that only takes a, a click, click, like on Facebook, click. People don't invest a lot of time in typing. Doesn't mean there's interest there. So I'm trying to get them to think like a master player. Think like a chess. See the entire board. Learn to back engineer, you know, the whole the whole picture. She didn't take very much time to like and then type good. So she's not really committed to the conversation yet. She's not showing enough interest. And that's one of the things you got to be aware of. I just put up how to tell the girl's interest in you. Some clips from that. Uh, you can get it at my store. Again, all my videos have the link that comes automatically anytime I put up a video. It's part of the uh, defaults. Just click on the link in the description box. That video should be ranked on page uh, one as well. The last video I put up, what uh, do women like about bad boys or whatever, that's on page one of YouTube as well. Uh, that's the kind of videos I'm going to do in the future. They're content. You guys will enjoy it. I just won't be talking to you as much. Uh, it be for marketing purposes. Sorry. Uh, there's no real benefit to me to talk. You can learn from my stuff, from those videos as well. You know, I, I don't want to be read where I get called a liar and shit like that anymore. Anyways, um, I get tired of the trolls. There's a fellow that, you know, I saw how fat I was in that video. Wow, I was pretty fat. I'm on the way down, but damn. You guys saw how big my belly was? Here's where I'm at now. This is it. That's the last little bit. Like, whoa. Maximum density. So anyways, um, we got to learn to think like a master, okay, and back engineer these women. 
you got to be a master chess player just about to engineer your conversation when you're working online or in texting. That's what I do. That's my, one of my gifts. Um, in fact, the pimps on Pimps Network acknowledge that. I, had a, I was working with the, one of the, um, a guy named, what was his name? Ice something or other. He was a white guy that got into the pimp game in Hawaii. It worked for him. I had this entire, I, I've shown you guys a piece of his conversation. Maybe I'll do it again in the future on the new channel here. Uh, he was working with a girl over I am instant messaging and, you know, getting her into the point of pimping out for him. I had the whole entire conversation because he wanted me to correct him, you know, where he went, where he may have went wrong, what he could have did better, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, um, I'm a specialty with words. I studied direct mail marketing. I studied hypnosis. I studied all that kind of stuff. So I got really good with using words. You have to think and use your head. When you get into the, your emotions, all happy, I want to fuck her real fast, that's when you step out, step out of, from becoming a potential master into a scrub. And that's what I'm fighting with my client. Not let them do scrub behavior. Like trying to rush a date. It works on some chicks because they're attracted to him or to you. Okay, Then it becomes a numbers game. I don't like numbers game. I like sure things. Let's make it a sure thing. Let's let's mastermind this and seduce her with just words. Again, I refer you back to my email seduction case study that I did. Just words. I got the panties. Put her on my team. Okay? Something to think about this weekend. How can you learn to better yourself with words? How can you, you, you become better? Now, I'm going to do my, my mastermind class again. Um, I think I'll put it on Facebook as a mastermind group for people to join. You'll pay your fee and then you can get in there. Uh, bring with you, bring with you potentials that you want to target and some of your past ones and we'll go with them in a group. I can handle a few more this time. I can handle six, six people. That should keep it interesting. Um, I'll let you know when I do that. Okay, since I'm going to expand the number, I'm going to reduce the prices a little bit. So it, I still uh, maintain the same. Let's see. No, it has to be four. Yeah. I can only do four at a time in the group because I, I keep my, my coaching fee at 200 bucks a month. <clears throat> so that way it would be 50 bucks per person. Yeah. Hmm. I'll do another sign up. We'll, we'll see. Uh, who signs up if you want to learn to become ma a master with words okay on online or tinder or texting how to text the right way and that's what i'm working with my client on he's gotten better he's he actually he has a girl that's on the cusp of becoming his, his main uh he's gotten a blow job from a chick and then she got felt all guilty and then she you know she wanted to retreat from the whole thing after he was getting you know he travels back and forth across the country as you really come back to California. Um, he, but his, his texting skills have gone through the roof. I've approved, I think, about four of them in the last few days. He, he still sent me, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of sending this. And uh, today I, I couldn't approve the message looking at the conversation. Well, let me give you guys an example of. Um, what I'm trying to talk about, um, I made notice to my fellow that notice how she's sending short messages, and his comment to me was, um, "I told her get what you mean after I sent him, you know, long email. You're right. It seems that like most of these girls write short shit. Well, I'm crafting out these well thought out messages. I like to mimic the short length they are using." So as not to invest more with lengthy responses. And what he doesn't get is that the lengthy responses are the way to get up into her mind. Uh, dudes will send short responses. And they get dude responses. Um, he goes on, ob obviously harder to convey more with a short response, but I'm sure 
I'm for sure noticing that the longer my responses are, it seems like the shorter theirs are. How would you progress this conversation if it was you? And I, my message to him was, you took my message the wrong way. It's not about doing short dude-type messages. We're better than that. We're about owning her mind, worming in like you did with the blowjob girl. Uh, I talked about do mind fucking. He did that on her. It worked. But she had interest in him. You know, he had did his whole chasing, and there was interest. It was returned. She, she was interested. So she see that way. Uh, I said, not coming to a cheap shot like this girl. The only advantage of the short message, like good, which would basically lead nowhere for you, is that it mirrors her response, like send back good. Short message. Cool. Not interested in mirroring, but figuring her out and how to get there. Yes, sometimes in face-to-face -face mirroring, it's, it is important, but I haven't found it to be vital in online over machine communication written style. Verbal over phone? Yes. We are pursuers, not her, or the pursuers, not her. We are the invaders of her time. So we have to sell. You can't sell with short messages. So, as I finish up my email to him, to teach him um, to stick to, to what is, works best, um, not sell out, sell out the game just because one girl is sending back a few short responses. We're not saying anything that requires a lot of thought. That's just it. That, that's going in any of any depth to her. We were asking about a job. Okay. I let him craft the last messages, and I approved them. Um, deep messages get deep thought. If you want a lot of words, write something that encourages a lot of words. Um, but we're looking for interest, though. We have learned to look for interest in women when you do Tinder, or he's also she's also on Instagram. He does Instagram as well. With Instagram, you gotta look, you gotta look for interest. Remember, you're the invader. You're the telemarketer. And I use a sales technique to, you know, get them to talk to me. That's what I use. Remember, I studied salesmanship. I showed you my books. I even took a class in college on salesmanship. I always knew that if I could learn to sell, I always will have a job. Okay, if I need to go back to work, I can always uh, sell, sell at a job selling things. Always, also, uh, sorry, sell myself. But also in business, I, I can learn to sell my business. So I encourage all of you guys to learn salesmanship. Go take a class in it at your college level. They have them. They should have them. If not, find books you can buy from um, uh, Amazon on salesmanship. I read The Greatest Salesman in the World by Jill Gerard. It's not really worth it. Uh, you, need, you need technique, something that's real. He doesn't really talk about technique, except giving out your card to everybody that you meet. He does the shot, shotgun thing, throws cards everywhere instead of rifle marketing. So... He's going for a girl that has low interest in him. And he thinks by sending her short messages back, which I can't even craft one from the conversation that's going to be of any interest to her. Uh, so it'd be extremely challenging. I wouldn't do it. That's it. I, I just wouldn't do it. My mind doesn't work like that in cheap, in cheap thrills. Um... Hmm. The only thing he could do would be to go into the, the dude thing. And I think you're cute. That's what you guys were saying. You know, I think you're hella beautiful. I think you're hella cute. So you get the dude response. That she gets that all the time. So, anyways, um, let me finish up this.
Okay, I honestly wouldn't send a, a short message. Sorry, man, not my style. I can't do cheap and superficial again. We're looking at low interest. So far in this fe this female. Switching to short messages isn't going to change that. All right. I don't know if anybody's better. I'm not going to brag. No brag, just fact. I don't know if anybody's better. There's some dude that put out a, a, a book of these. Cheap messages. Fuck. They're here somewhere. I'm going to read some of those to you while I, while I got you guys' attention. Uh, fuck. Let me do this. Go to my downloads folder. And see if I can find that book. 67, yeah. Okay. I would say, hi. What are you doing? But then again... That's what mediocre guys say with a smiley, a frowned face. Uh, wake up. You put grizzly bears hibernating to shame. Next one. Where are you in a pair of eyeballs? Cutesy things. Hey, suspicious. See, I don't do these. Hey, pervert. I'm black, I would never say that. Hey pervert, high five, high five. That's just not my style, I'm not Caucasian. Where are you in those plump lips at? And he used a version of that one that actually uh, worked for him. A little bit. W-Y-D, that's how you send. This means, what are you doing? I wouldn't ask that as the first message of a girl ever, ever. Uh, stop whatever you're doing. Sp spontaneous trip to where? You first. Go. Hmm. Let's say you guys sent that message out. Stop whatever you're doing. Spontaneous trip to where? You go first. As the first message. I would send something like that after I got to know her. Uh, apparently they worked for this one dude in... Um, LA. You know, he, he cut and pasted some of them for me and sent it to me, some of them, to look at, to analyze. Of course, that's all I got. Um, they're not my style. And again, there's more than one road to Rome. I have a different style. My style is to own, to craft messages to get up into her mind. That's why you see women going from the first date coffee date to my bed okay by the time they get there they haven't thrown the number at me by the way I've never asked for their number think about that so how I, I, I go for how long it takes how deep I gotta go cause I want her to be sizzling hot to get in bed with me that's the difference and Tinder's a different medium I know it's much faster people just meet and hook up except it's changing now it was like that. Now, chicks are saying we're not hooking up. <laughs> it used to be a good app for just fucking. There was another site like, like that that I belonged to a long time ago. Uh, hookups, or it was a black site. I can't remember the name of it. Fuck. Chicks got on there just hook up. I never, I never. Fuck one chick off there. I'd be afraid to. You know, diseases. But now it seems like, you know, chicks are demanding more on Tinder now. You guys, anybody notice that? They're saying, they'll say we're not hooking up. Or they'll tell you right away we're not hooking up. It used to be a hookup app. Now it's become a dating app. So these bitches done ruined the shit. And it's not from feminism. You weak motherfuckers that whine about Feminism. It is a valid wine, but you focus too much on it. You think it's the world, everything. 
let's just grow our balls and feminism will leave us alone. Eh? Peace, fellas.